Hello beautiful people and welcome to the channel Life After Knock. My name's Debbie and I talk about all things to do with narcissistic abusive and toxic relationships as well as looking at healing from them. And today's video, Euphoric Recall. What is it and what is it all about? Before I get into the detail, if you enjoy the channel, please click the like button. Please subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends, family, anyone who you think may benefit. And a quick apology if you hear any um, noises from outside. They are doing roadworks and changing the gas pipes from the Victorian pipes over to new pipes. So I apologize for any background noise. Euphoric recall, remembering the good rather than the bad. And you may have heard of this phrase before. What euphoric recall is, it's part of the rumination process that we go through after a relationship is over. Um, whether they've left us or we've left them, we're going to experience this. And this is when we remember all the good times that we had, all the wonderful times, the first time we made love, our first kiss, perhaps a proposal, a wedding. It could be any number of things that you remember that bring you this euphoric sense of state and think, well, why couldn't it work? Why didn't this relationship work when we had all of this going for us? The reason you're remembering the good things and not the bad things is due to chemicals in your brain. So when we are in love and happy and in a happy situation, our brain releases oxytocin and dopamine, which makes us happy and feel in love. And our body becomes addicted to this, much the same as we become addicted to smoking or drinking or drugs, or even watching a certain TV program or playing a game or, uh, you know, watching a certain movie repeatedly. It brings us happiness. So remembering these times that we had, that we shared together, brings us happiness. But it's not really happiness, is it? Because we feel sad and it makes us cry. And that's a normal response. Now, what we need to try and remember are the bad times. The times when the narcissist was horrible to us. The times when they belittled us, when they lied to us, when they cheated on us, when they threw things at us or pinned us down or hit us or slapped us or tried to rape us. We need to remember those times because those are the real times that the narcissist wanted with us, not the happiness. That was all fake. That was a mirror. They were mirroring you. They were future faking you. They wanted your supply. So what I always suggest to people going through this is to make a list of all the nasty, horrible things that the narcissist did to you. All of them, everything from the smallest little thing, perhaps a pinch, perhaps a um, flick, flicking over the TV when you're watching a program that you love. Um, all the way through to that physical violence. And forget about those good times because they weren't real. They were fake. Remember that they were fake. Yes, your brain is going to want to recall the good times. And I know I get it. I've been there. I've done it. Journal. Keep that list handy. When you start to feel like you miss them, read that list. Go to the worst possible thing they did. For me, it was attempted rape and strangulation. Although it happened so long ago that my brain has forgotten that with all the euphoric things that happened since then. But over time, it does become easier to remember those horrible things that they did and forget about the bad things. Don't forget, when we are in this situation where bad things are happening, our brain releases other chemicals, adrenaline and cortisol, which are the, the, the um, hormones that make us want to run, that make us want to fight, which is probably what we felt during the argument period of the relationship. And we, our body begins to get used to those and becomes addicted to those as well, because you have the bad and then you have the good. And then you have the bad again and then you have the good. And so it goes on. So that once you've had the bad, you expect the good to happen. And when it doesn't, the narcissist has left you. The abusive, toxic person has left you. And that euphoria that you experienced is not coming back. So your brain tricks you and wants you to remember those times. Write them down. Try not to long for this narcissist in those times. And I know it's hard. I've been there, done that, got the t-shirt many times. You can do it. You can get through this, I promise. If I can do it, anybody can. 
So remember, if you start to recall those euphoric things during your rumination period that you're going to go through, after the breakup of the relationship, after they left or after you left them, whichever way, it doesn't matter, you're still going to experience that pain. Remember the things they did to you that were horrible. Read that list. Journal. Write these things down. And know that these things will get easier over time. Like I said, your brain becomes addicted to this cycle of happiness, euphoria, and then the sadness, the depression, the guilt, all of those nasty negative emotions that go along with that side of things. I hope this video has helped you understand a little bit more about Euphoric Recall. If you've enjoyed it, please click the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. I really need to get my subscribers up so that I can start earning a little bit of money from this. It would be really nice if I could. And I hope to see you next time. Blessed be.